Joining me now is Raj Subramanian. He is the SVP of Oracle Cloud Infrastructure for Networking. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, and uh, thanks for having me here. It's great to have you, and you uh, did a keynote earlier, the OCI keynote. That's right. What are some of the top takeaways that, uh, that you think the audience should, should uh, remember, the talking points? So the, the key theme of the, the keynote itself was your cloud, your way. Right. right? Uh, so this means like, you know, with all the bells and whistles to manage the cloud and all the capabilities that are available in a commercial public cloud, but launch the cloud in the customer's location, right? Like, you know, the location of their size. Uh, but more importantly, with all the AI capabilities as well, and the flexibility and the size of their choice, right? It could be like, you know, really, really scaled down version, or it could be a large scale, but it's their choice. So your cloud, your way, that's, that's the theme. Okay, so we're gonna unpack some of that, but if we start with, you know, what's driving that from a customer standpoint, how would you answer that? So maybe let's let's take a, a step back and talk about the different offerings that we, that we have, sure. right? Uh, other than the public cloud, the commercial cloud that, that we have and the government cloud, GovCloud that we have, we've got uh, dedicated regions that we offer to customers and a smaller uh, configuration of that, a uh, smaller footprint version of that is called DR25. Uh, and then we've got uh, Alloy and then we've got multi-cloud. So all these different offerings, if you look at it, this is primarily for customers who have already invested in their uh, uh, IT infrastructure, right? And that could be on-premises, like you know, in their own data centers, and or it could be in uh, ecosystems and other clouds, say uh, other cloud partners, that's where the multi-cloud comes in. Sure. Or it could be for data sovereignty, or it could be for any compliance reasons. The use cases uh, are like you know kind of widely spread across these uh, different offerings, and uh, so some of them it could be for performance reasons. So they need the data to be very close to where the data center is, and so we they want the cloud services there. Or some of them it is actually about security of the data. It's about uh, compliance of like you know, where they do not want data to actually go beyond a certain reason. So those are the use cases we generally see where the investment is already made, and uh, they want to uh, still explore the cloud services. Enough. So like something like DRCC, mm -hmm. dedicated region, clouded customer, they've got the infrastructure set up, but now they want they want their their workload, some of their workloads in a cloud, mm -hmm. and Oracle comes in and manages that running the OCI stack in their data center. So it's not necessarily uh, in a cloud. So they've got their workloads, they've got their applications running on premise, let's say, but they want cloud services. They want uh, uh, the different services that OCI has to offer. They want uh, some of the database capabilities that we offer, some of the AI capabilities that we offer. And, uh, but they want all of those services to come to the data, not the data moved out uh, right. to where we have all those services running. So that's where dedicated region comes in. And it is not a shared infrastructure. It is dedicated for the customer. Right. And uh, uh, so it's, but it's got all the capabilities of what OCI has to offer in a commercial public region. And so when we talk about something like Sovereign Cloud, that's largely the same setup, but they're using some of the sovereign capabilities. That is correct. So when it comes to um, Sovereign Cloud, they have uh, additional, generally more stringent uh, regulations and uh, compliance that need to be met and uh, how uh, they need to be, or the data needs to be audited or like you know, what kind of logs and what kind of observability mechanisms that need to be uh, deployed and uh, how they need to protect the data, uh, how, what kind of like you know, air gap situation that they need to be in. Sure. All of that makes a difference. And so it's, it's a variation of the dedicated region, but with additional stringent regulatory uh, uh, compliance stuff. You mentioned scale down. Why would somebody, what's the use case for scaling down? That's interesting, isn't it? Like, you know, why would somebody want to scale down? Uh, so if you look at it, generally many of the customers, enterprise customers of ours, uh, who have not started their cloud journey, who want to uh, explore the cloud, generally start off small. Uh, we are definitely super proud of our uh, super clusters that we have launched, right? Like the, the 128K version uh, super cluster. But not all customers want that. They want to start small 
and then they want to explore and as they get comfortable with our cloud offerings they want to be get bigger so that's where our uh, dr25 of, um, offering comes in like in a smaller footprint version of our dedicated region that comes in and having a scale down story actually enables customers to uh, to start their uh, cloud migration cloud journey let's go back to the scale up part and talk about ai infrastructure we're at zeta scale super cluster 131000 gpus um, what are we doing that's, that differentiates Oracle's approach to that sort of supercomputing environment? See, uh, again, on this one, uh, the underlying infrastructure, underlying uh, technology that enables this kind of a scale, uh, I want to uh, go a little bit uh, back and uh, talk about the technology that, that, that we use there. So the RDMA technology that we have, uh, that's not new to us. We've been using RDMA in Exadata and other database uh, uh, offerings of ours for a long time now. So we've been uh, incrementally making progress and having a lot of innovation in that space. So now we know how to scale uh, the RDMA technology. We have uh, partnered with several of our uh, uh, vendors, like you know, switching vendors and partners and uh, GPU vendors and partners. And uh, uh, there is a lot of innovation in that space, which enables this kind of a scale where the like, GPUs have to communicate with each other, there's a lot of uh, uh, around congestion control, how we uh, spray packets between uh, the GPUs, so, like you know, how do we load balance the packets, how do we manage the congestion in the network, the network fabric. So there's a ton of innovation that has gone into this space. And again, as I said, like this is not something that we just started two years ago. Right. This is a journey for like six, eight years. Yeah. And that's where the differentiating uh, factor comes in. So we have done a lot of innovation in this space that enables us to use this network fabric and the full capability of the GPUs without any idle time, without any uh, downtime. So that is the key differentiator in my opinion. One other uh, more recent thing is our, we, we have obviously a deep partnership with NVIDIA, but we made some announcements this week with NVIDIA. Can you talk about what customers can look for here? Yeah, see, uh, we have uh, customers who need uh, different things in terms of uh, AI capabilities, right? So we offer, like uh, Oracle has a unique position, a unique advantage of uh, having investments in across all the layers of AI, like in a beat uh, infrastructure, like in a top of the line infrastructure, best of, best of class, uh, or all the way up to like in our SaaS offerings. So there are also customers who don't want to like you know, build uh, frontier models, like foundational models. Yeah. They want to be able to like you know, just fine tune existing models and then like suit their applications. That's where some of the announcements and the partnership that we have with NVIDIA comes in, where we are uh, partnering with NVIDIA to offer more AI services, AI models, and also more importantly, more tooling that they can uh, deploy on OCI, take advantage of them, fine tune the applications, fine tune the models to suit their applications and uh, uh, take advantage of it. Um, uh, so that, that's, that's, and it's pretty exciting, like, you know, what we have, like the number of tools that we're actually launching, it's, it's phenomenal. Great, well, we're out of time. So oh. thank you so much for joining me and uh, congratulations on all the great success with OCI. Thank you, thank you, Fritz. Like, it was great talking to you.